actually all gathered here to celebrate what I think is actually something really historic, which is the aptly named Clay Hill uh, Solar Farm. <laughs> We're seeing sites like this which are subsidy free and really innovative in terms of what they're doing. We've got lots more to do, but to me we need that broad mix of energy supply. This has been very much supported by the local community. The economics work, I know from talking to UNESCO that they have other sites in play, but now I think it's a really, really, um, really good model and it would be great to see this replicated right across the UK. In terms of the build cost, this design that we've come up with uh, for here now makes it viable that you can have a solar park that's subsidy free. In terms of the build, it's around about 35%, 36% cost reduction over a normal solar park. We even took out three mil of the thickness of steel. And so if you, uh, if you put that over a solar park like here that's got th over 30,000 panels on there, that three mil of steel is a huge cost reduction. Solar panels are 10 megawatts, um, completely subsidy free, first of its kind. It absolutely completely re-engineered the way that Britain has been building solar farms. Uh, it's all about actually reducing the amount of carbon in the atmosphere. We've got a 2050 target as the UK. We're not going to do that if we, if we don't start using uh, renewables for power. You know, there's no point us replacing um, petrol cars with uh, electric cars and then using coal and, uh, um, and fossil fuels to, to, to power them. You, know, you really need to move into the renewables. So it's subsidy free because the government haven't given us any money to do this. So all solar farms up till March the 31st, 2017 received a government subsidy and this one does not. And so that's why it's an industry leading um, site today. We've been preparing for it for a couple of years. So we've been working with our supply chain and sat down and thought, right, how are we going to make this work after the 31st of March. So we sat down and we discussed design, the components, the cost, um, and really re-engineered every single component that you can see behind me to come up with a cost-effective uh, design that works for subsidy-free solar.